<laughs> follow-ups on that. <laughs> he kills me. I know him 30 years, and he kills me. Our first guest, a distinguished member of the American acting and dramatic community, <laughs> Mr. Donald Rickles. It is so nice to see you. Oh, it's Rickles. lovely to be here. This is a great treat to be in a, in a box. <laughs> this two-by-four box. What a treat. You don't like this studio. No, Why I do you it. knock it? It's a nice place. Every time I connected with you, it's always Mickey Mouse, like a little cardboard thing from a Hanukkah plate. They made, made a whole backdrop. That's Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. No, it's the valley. <laughs> the valley. <laughs> I have an uncle there. We don't talk to him. <laughs> what do you think of Bork, by the way? You think we should nominate him? <laughs> Is he a shortstop? <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> he doesn't. Wait a minute. He's not going to change my life. Abortion, no abortion. I got my own problems. I really don't care, Larry. So uh, let's not worry about Bork. You don't care? No, the man sits there in a big room with a bunch of other people in black robes, and they all go, <coughs> what do you think, Al? <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. Don't worry about it, Larry. You got your own troubles. Just be Jewish and keep moving. John, why do you like living out here? Of course I, I mean, you're such a... No, you're no I would love to live in the Bronx. <laughs> in the Bronx, in the ghetto. I want to live I want to live in an alley and lay on the street, but the other people saying, give me a home, give me a place, give me a ranch. Of course I love it out here. Have a big home hunting dogs and a Jewish wife that just says, Don't thing isn't shining. <laughs> this woman's just draped in jewelry. I took her to Europe, she fell over. She had too much on the neck. <laughs> right in the ground. But you're such a New York type. Miami type. This seems so laid back for you. You're not a laid back guy, Don. <laughs> Beverly Hills is sort of. It's not. I don't see it as you. You Al Jolson? Why do you keep doing it? <laughs> no. I like Beverly Hills. You kidding? Sit around, watch the movie stars, get invited to big parties, watch Marvin Davis swim. <laughs> He's a light boy. Let's uh, let's get into some things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Size forty one short. <laughs> and get him a blue shirt with a with a loose collar. He loves that. Remember those tailors in New York? Irving, perfect. This shoulder has to be fixed, or you need an operation. Okay. All right. Start the start the meeting. Okay. That sounds like a wrestling match. Pin, pin. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right. Okay. Okay. I'm a serious person. I know you look like this, a, I think you look like a weird Clark Kent. This, <laughs> this, <laughs> you had your heart fixed, but you never worked on your nose. Why did you get your nose done? As long as you're getting your heart fixed, you should have had your nose. Were you worried about me when I had my heart attack? You kidding? I went to temple seven times and said, I'll never make it. <laughs> Told that to the rabbi and his hat spun. Okay, uh, uh, this this show won a nice award. Why are we leaning over like it's a football game? <laughs> we're leaning over like we're two communists planning to do something. Sit back and relax. You're a nervous wreck. I want to try to get some serious questions. Yeah, then. we'll get value. <laughs> and by the way, Shasha Gabor is on. Following. <laughs> Time out, Cleveland. <laughs> Time out. Okay. <laughs> you have any thoughts on Jaja? Yeah, she's a lovely woman. She really is. You like her? Oh, yeah, she's lovely. She's great. She, you're going to find her when, when it's all over for her and a bucket of goulash. She's a lovely woman. Her and her sister I know very, very well. Ava. Yeah. I, I know the name. Yes. <laughs> is this a test? Yes. Ava, Ava and her. They're going to put a full of bank job just standing around in the lot going, everybody get against the ball and the nice men step forward. They're, they're in heat, you know. <laughs> Don. Yeah. Please. Mm. Have you been, this is asked of Gary Hart. On Nightline, they asked of Gary Hart, I'll ask it of you. Yeah. Have you been faithful to your wife? Uh, well, except for Laverne. Hell of a broad. <laughs> Hell of a broad. She used to work with bubble gum, you know. What do you mean? Yeah, stand on top of the roof and yell at me, and I would dive into the living room, and she'd take the gum and go, wow, and the <laughs> suction would drive me in. It's a long story. Okay, Don't worry about but, it. But you freely admit this. No, no, I, I love my wife. I have a lovely wife. I you have a good marriage. marriage. Oh, yeah. You married late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very late. No, I mean... I was on the highway. I was in a sailor uniform. And she said, you got a minute? And I came over and we've been yeah. together ever since. So we've been together now uh, 22 years. She's a lovely woman. Because you knew me in the old days. I ran around pretty You were good. a single guy. Oh, yeah. That's right. I, <laughs> I, was, I used to go around with singers. Uh, K-Star. Please. Lovely woman. Don but, Nichols and K-Star nearly married. No, Let's no. Let's reveal it for like the first no, time. Strictly a friend. No, strictly a friend. I knew I wasn't seeing her too often when she started making me carry the music. <laughs> when you carry the music, you know it's over. No, Kay was a lovely woman. We were just friends. But you you were a, a long time. Many people thought you would stay at Maxwell for a long time. Oh, well, yeah, but I started smiling at a lot of guys, and then I got problems, and I mean, went to steam rooms, and guys went, let me see the towel off. <laughs> and it was trouble. So I I started to go straight, and now everything is great. I got a Jewish wife just lays in bed, go, Whoa. How did you meet Barbara? Well, I met her. Uh, it was a wild party. I had blue socks on that night, and she was wearing a mask. No. <laughs> and the guy working the camera kept saying, Eddie, try the shot, but she falls into the tub. <laughs> no, I met Barbara. Uh, she was my picture agent secretary, uh, a guy uh -huh. called Jack Gilardi, Yeah, And uh, 
He uh, still, still a picture agent. And uh, I went up to uh, the office and I said, I'd, I'd like to see Jack Gelati. And my wife is one of those low-key kind of women. She kept saying, what is it in regard to? I said, I want to sell meat. I'm a butcher. <laughs> I, got, I got a pound of meat in a truck outside. I like to sell it to him. I said, I want to be an actor and I want to see him. And she said, if you're going to be crude, nothing's going to work out. You understand? <laughs> and that's the way we make love. She naps. It's great. It's great. Did it's you great. like her right away? Huh? <laughs> I gave her one of those, too, yeah. <laughs> just just like that. <laughs> Did you like her right away? Uh, yeah, I knew she was a, a, a lovely lady for me, yes. Oh, I'm going to try to get some serious things in here. Okay, fine. The business has changed a great deal for the comic. Yeah. Where does a Don Rickles, if not for Atlantic City and Vegas, work? Well, to be very honest, the gambling cities between Las Vegas, Lake Tahoe, Harris, and resorts, and uh, the Golden Nugget, what have you... Uh, the gambling towns are great to me, and once in a while a theater, and once in a while some television. And at this stage of my life, I'm very, very content. Uh, the gambling towns take up about 18, 19 weeks of my life, and I'm very pleased with that. And I'm a saloon guy by, by nature, my whole there career. There are no saloons in Chicago or New York. Oh, or yes, there are, but I just, I just don't like to get up off the couch. I mean, if I certainly wanted to do work there, I, could, I, I lay on the couch a lot, you know, just sit there and give orders to, <laughs> to my family who stare at me, you know. <laughs> when, I, when I cough, they think I'm going to die and they're going to take the house away, you know. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I enjoy what I do right now. And I think the only thing left for me that I would love to do is to do a major motion picture. And that... You're because, a terrific actor. You know, you did, uh, did, you did a, an edition uh, on Hennessy once. The Jackie Cooper. Yeah. Jackie Cooper, one of the great individuals. Just oh. you and him, the whole show. Yeah, thank Great you. performance yeah. where you were thinking of leaving the Navy. Yeah, right. That was a great show. You were wonderful in pictures. Why not? Why didn't you do more serious things? Because uh, Jackie didn't go any place. <coughs> no, no, no. Why didn't you do No, more? I... Well, I tell you, you get, you get uh, marked with the label of the insulting guy, the sarcastic comedian. And it's hard, I guess, for producers to see you in another, in another light. I've been offered films where it's always the guy with the, with the checkered coat, you know, the guy from the mountains going, what do you say, Shirley, you know, uh, Whoopi, Charlie, I don't want to do that. Someone along the line say, this guy can perform. Well, if, if the part did come up, it was to do it in, uh, say, uh, Spain for 17 years, and, or go to, go to Romania for 37 hours, go to Yugoslavia and get the runs and die. <laughs> I mean, so uh, to leave the country for a great, deal, a great length of time would be very difficult. By the time I came back, uh, <laughs> I'd probably be shaky not even being on this show. You know, and this means everything to me because, you know, <laughs> this shot could hey, wait a minute. skyrocket. This is a big show. Are you making fun of this show? No, are you kidding? When the cable goes out, this is a, a light night. <laughs> a light night? Cable goes out a lot. Does it go out a lot here? <laughs> Every day. In fact, this will never be on. <laughs> There's a guy walking around with a clip of Larry King. I'm going to cut it right off. Nobody watches. This is a mercy show. This really is. <laughs> I watch Tom Brokaw, you know, with the Statue of Liberty and big music and all. When you're on at 6 o'clock, I, I usually look in just as a favor because we're old friends, you know, just to see if you've got you a mean guess. you feel like uh, you're doing me a favor? I don't I mean call that it, as a favor. Oh, yeah. I, you're a mercy friend. Definitely a mercy oh, friend. Oh, you have mercy friends. Oh, yes. And you're on that list because we know each other 30 years, Larry. I remember you in Florida when you was you were single in, too. Yeah. But you were different than I. <laughs> you used to go into canters and go, anybody? <laughs> An old waitress, a woman with a rag, going, you want fish? I'll go with you. You want a piece of fish? You went with everybody. Let me fix your mic. I think you might have observed. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought you got lonely there for a minute. Those were great days in Miami. Huh? You used to come on my show, Lenny oh. Bruce, you and Lenny That's together. Right. Again. Oh. That's right. That's you right. used to come to Pumpernick's dress up as a busboy and insult people. That's right. I used to kid around like that, too. And, I, and I, my mother used to call your show up all the time. That's right. Soul. Dean you know, Martin was the one that took you out of Florida, didn't he? I mean, the shot on his show made Don Rickles. Well, the first shot I did in Florida, if you remember, remember I was on with Jack Parr when he did the show from the Roney Plaza. A lot of people don't even remember that. Yeah. And I played a cab driver. They had me come on as an insulting cab driver. And Jack Parr at that time had no idea what it was about and what I was about. <laughs> None. And I said, you know, Jack, you're ridiculous and get rid of your whatever, your, your hat and wait in the car. And he did. <clears throat> and this was live. And I went... <laughs> to the dumper. And then my second big occasion, I went on with Earl Wilson, that's his old cousin. And Earl, you know, was, was wonderful. He's a great guy to have at a New Year's Eve party. You know, he was like Ed Sullivan. They took naps together, you know. <laughs> naughty, 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 naughty. <laughs> and I was on with him, that didn't help me. So really, it was Johnny Carson and Dean Martin that really brought me to the attention nationally. Of, Martin puts on his shows yeah. on a kind of a regular basis. Didn't no, no, he put me on quite a bit. Uh, he was very, very kind to me, Dean. And Carson. And Carson. And then Carson saw me in New York. And Johnny and I became a little bit friendly, and uh, then he had me on the show, and I did very well with Johnny. And in fact, I'm going to be on in October with him again, and uh, it's fun to be with Johnny. He has a chemistry. It's like being on with you, you know. We Nothing have. really happens. 
But yet I'm on. Because it's, you know, it's an afternoon. You kill a couple hours and you go home. Oh, that's hey, it. that's a nice watch. You kidding? I got it off a truck in the Bronx. <laughs> that's a Rolex gold. Oh, of course. What am I, what am I going to wear? A Mickey Mouse job? Oh, no, but I mean, that's... Well, look at what do you got on, chop liver? You got a nice watch. Yeah, I got I a mean, nice shirt. Gordy, that's Don't be what. envy, Larry. Don't be envy. You got a good thing going. A radio show, an afternoon show, girls. You got everything going for you. Now, if your heart stops, you got a problem. <laughs> Tell me, that you got to work on. You don't look good, Larry. I'm a friend. I was kidding you in the, in the, in the dressing room. But really, Larry, get some rest. <laughs> By the way, uh, what a turnout you'll have. <laughs> I figure you, Riverside must be about 30 cars. I'll be in the back car going, I know he wouldn't make it. I know he wouldn't make it. And you'll be yelling, Bork. Do you think Bork will win? <laughs> Bork, Bork, you'll worry about. By the way, we taped this yesterday, and we also, uh, Carl Malden was saying he was on last night. I love Carl Malden. You have a thought on Carl Malden before we take our first break. Well, I think Carl Malden has had it. Had it? Uh, no, Carl Malden's <laughs> a great actor. He knows Marlon Brando personally. He told me that when I met him the last time, and I gave him a cookie, and he went away. He's a really an annoying guy. Well, and he's Yugoslavian. He sits yeah. around the Dan Tanners all day long going, Dobra, Dobra. You ever go to Yugoslavia? No. It makes Mexico look like a warm-up. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. We'll be back. No, we won't. I'm fed up with you, Larry. We may be back with Don Rickles following these messages. Whoop. Our guest is Don Rickles. We go back a long way. Let me get this out before I leave you and crack up completely. On October 9th and 10th, Don will, brought, will uh, perform at Resorts International in Atlantic City. We're going to be there on October 9th, and he and Cosby are going to be on the radio show, maybe together. Maybe we'll even bring the cameras, CNN cameras, get them on television, too. That's October 9th and 10th. You can see him at Resorts International in Atlantic City. And then on October 15th for two weeks at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas. Now, the last time he worked at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas, a surprise guest came out on stage, an old friend of his, Frank Sinatra. Right? That's correct. Came on stage with you. That's right. How many guys would Frank do that with? Uh, Vinnie Manzanini, <laughs> Aldo Guanano, and Rocco Paccaru. What about Frank? No one knows him better than you. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. If I knew him better, I'd be on a hook in a market someplace, just swinging back and forth. No, Frank is a dear man, the most charming guy I know. I, I, I and my wife and his wife, Barbara, we think are the most stimulating couple. We've met many people. The that, two of you. Uh, yes, together. My, <laughs> stimulates my you wife. both married Barbaras. Yes, we did. How interesting that Yeah, is. it was. We discussed that once on the trip. <laughs> About two minutes. <laughs> but uh, we've had uh, we had a wonderful time in Monte Carlo. Uh, Frank, oh, every... every Monte Carlo together. Oh, sure. What, do you think we're going to hang around Jersey? <laughs> of course, Monte Carlo. No, we went to Newark. <laughs> Got a plane, we went to Newark, hung around factories and smelled the, the, smelled the swamp by the train. What were you doing in Monte Carlo? Vacationing or what? No, no, no. I was working as a cabana boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank was sitting in, the, in his cabana in shorts with linguine all over his stomach. And everybody said, Frank, you look adorable. Who's going to tell him he looks wrong? You know what I mean? You do, and he slaps in the face, you know. He has eight guys around him who all talk the same way, like a truck hit him. <laughs> So uh, we had a marvelous time. He we went to Monte Carlo together on vacation. Yeah. Well, he was there already, oh. and he, we were in the Golden Nugget, as we said, doing a doing a benefit together. And he said, "Why don't you and Barbara come over and spend some time with us?" And we did, and we met everybody. Uh, we, uh, Frank had a wonderful command. He had a suite there, which we paid for. I mean, this wasn't on the arm, uh, although I did beg a few times, <laughs> and I picked up a few checks. Did I know he ate that much? I mean, the man went crazy. <laughs> And we met Roger Moore, who kept telling me he was Roger Moore, which was very exciting. <laughs> and Michael Caine, who you know won an Academy yeah. Award, kept saying, you know, don't, I'll tell you, if I, Academy Award, I said, how did you win? You don't talk English. <laughs> man doesn't talk English. He's like a muffin. You have always been able to kid Sinatra, right? Now, it's very few people can get away with things you've said about him, being old, pockmark face. I never said pockmark face, no. Frank, you said, you said, Frank, no, what did you say? No, no, not pockmark face. You're old. Give me a break. Don't, don't, don't make it. Don't. Okay, you didn't say Bob Martin. No. Right? You said you're old. I said, yes, I did say you. You said, old. go up and have graham crackers and hot milk. No, no, I said, uh, Frank, uh, stand up, be, uh, do something everybody knows. Hit somebody. <laughs> and I did. Leave well, my mother alone. Uh, yeah, yeah, I said, no, if, uh, if I don't act nice, he's going to, he's got my mother, got an aunt in Jersey, he's got to tie him a chair. <laughs> he's really but, a good guy, though. Yeah, we, because we, it's always been that image, you know. But, but you've always so been able to kid him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but this hand is a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> and Monte Carlo, I come up with a joke he didn't like, and then his hand is numb. <laughs> but otherwise, uh, we had some great time. Now what about Carson? But before you I get to that, we met Prince Albert through Frank. Met Prince Albert, who was great. They, they said to me, this is Prince Albert, and tell me, God, knowing me, Larry, I said, Al, it's great <laughs> seeing you. The kid fell on the floor. He's 28 years old. <laughs> Prince said, Albert. Yeah, Prince Albert. I said, you've got to stop having your father look through the window. All I see is a mustache and a little wind <laughs> from the palace going, Albert, Albert. <laughs> old man's annoying. Put him in a home. You don't need him. Go 
down the cellar, get the money, and leave the country. Listen to me. And your sister's out there here like a Zeppelin. You don't need it. Out there. I was doing all those jokes, and, and Frank kept walking around going, oh, is that funny? <laughs> he was great, though. I kept telling him he sings good, and that calms him. <laughs> I keep saying, Frank, what a voice. He goes, no kidding, really? You think so? I said, sure. It's over for him. I can say that because nobody watches this. Who's going to watch this? He watches. Well, hey, then you won't be seeing me anymore. <laughs> Maybe in Miami, a head bobbing up and down in the middle of the bay going, it was Larry King, Frank, not me, Larry King. <laughs> He's a darling man, though, and I respect him. What about Carson? I'll name some, I'd love to do this with you. I name people, you tell us about them. Johnny Carson. His shoulders lock. His what? His shoulders lock. Ever see Johnny walks around like this, like barbells around his, you know, man worries about his body. I think he gets in bed at night and just says to the wife, not a ripple, huh, honey? Not a ripple. <laughs> she sleeps with a board. Not a ripple. <laughs> Has a lovely wife, Alex. They just got married. Yeah. We gave him a lovely gift. What'd you give him? <laughs> Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Tight. Tight. What do you mean tight? Well, we go to restaurants. He signs autographs. No tips. I said, Clint, you can't do that. People don't care about your last movie. He goes, Clint Eastwood, 1937. You're going to love my next film. <laughs> and he walks away. But Clint is a great guy. He, he really says he wanted to live his life, though. <laughs> well, well, the Yugoslavian, when we did Kelly's Heroes, I, I said in the contract, I said, I want to live the way Clint Eastwood lives. I had no idea that a pickup truck and a dog was his way of being happy at home. I mean, and standing out in the woods. My wife and I like marble toilets. We're Jews, you know, tiling, nice, you know. Beautiful apartment. Well, we had electric toilets in those days. So Let me run down some others. Angie Dickinson, she got her star in Hollywood yesterday. Yes, Angie is great. She knew John Wayne. <laughs> you knew John Wayne? Yeah. Didn't you do a movie with John yeah. Wayne? In fact, the first time I met him, I said, how are you, Duke? And he went, <laughs> It was great. Roy Rogers. <laughs> if you're lonely. <laughs> no, no, Roy's a great guy. He talks to Dale a little too much, though. Now, your closest friend, your neighbor, your compatriot, Bob Newhart. Without question, one of the dullest human beings I know. I mean, I, really, I don't know how we're friends. I mean, all this guy does is sit in the bathroom, I think, with roll of toilet paper and bumbles and hums and, brrr, and plays with the... With the brrr, got $40 million. America loves him. He's on television 30 million years. Why? Day in and day out. Huh? How do you explain that? Because he's like Wonder Bread. Nobody knows what he is. He's like, he's not Jewish, he's not German, he's not Italian, he's not black. He's nothing. He's like a stick with a face on it. And the guy got hot as hell, and it's driving me crazy. Because <laughs> I'm more talented than he, but I can't do that. i got to be nice in case I go busted, I can borrow. <laughs> you have... Why have you, your television shows never made it? And yet, you, do you think it's because you have too much body energy, body energy, too much movement, you're too kinetic, that television needs people like Newhart, that lay back? Well, I think the box, you know, captures... Uh, Seriously, Bob has a great magic on television, yeah. as, as well as Carson. You know, they, they have a, a certain that the audience can relate to. Uh, the shows I've had, uh, don't forget, uh, uh, Seatbelt Sharky was not a bad show. That show, oh, I, 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 like I believe it. It, it could still have stayed on had things been right, but that's old news. But you have to have the right vehicle for a Don Rickles. And uh, I'm, I'm very big. I'm very, everything is from the nightclub world. I started out as an actor, but everything is big. And someone is big, it's a little box, as you said. So you have to have it that you can reach the people. And I think with the right storyline and the right material, uh, I can be successful. There's many, finish. many people who know show business pretty well would say that two of our greatest nightclub comics, the two greatest nightclub comics we have in this country today, pure nightclub comics, are Don Rickles and Shecky Green. Thank you. And neither have ever made big, big on television. You made it bigger than Shecky. Shecky's also a movement act, isn't he? Yes. We, we, I, I would say Shecky is what, pretty much what I do, and, or I do pretty much what he does. We act out our performance. It's not That's like right. standing in one saying, the door across the street and blah, 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 whatever. You move. Jokes. Yes, and I act out as well as he does, and I tell a story. And that's very hard to capture, you know, in a, in a situation comedy. And it can be done. It certainly can be done. I mean, look at Gleason. I mean, huh. who acted out a story huh. greater than a Jackie Gleason? So. Back to some more people. Gary Hart. Uh, Gary Hart, I, I think, is the kind of guy in my single days I'd like to hang out with. You know, <laughs> I mean, he makes some cute moves. You know what I mean? He was great with Ted Copley the other night. I don't know if you saw that. You haven't said it. <laughs> you probably go to one of those stores. You know, <laughs> Channel Seven. You know, tap on the window. But uh, uh, Gary Hart has had his problems. I feel sorry for the man. He, yeah. he could have been a good candidate. Sure, yeah. the Democratic Party is. Uh, you know. And I, I spoke to Mario Cuomo. Oh, Cuomo, yeah. Today, you asked for a friend of yours to yeah, get well, off, got, out of got, prison. Yeah, well, I got, I got a guy going to chair Friday, and I figured it. Mario makes a quick phone call, and if he speaks in Italian, it helps. Hot seat, hot seat, get him on. You know, 
But I think that... Uh, Ronald Reagan. What do you think of Ronald Reagan? He's a great guy to be with. I was at the White House. Uh, through Sinatra, again, Frank. Really? Frank, uh, Frank got Frank, you to the White House? Well, no, I got... I, I, I made a call. Hello, Ronnie, it's Don. I'm in town. <laughs> no. I was at the inaugural, and it was great. And uh, Ronald Reagan, I, I, I'll never forget, we, we stood in the lobby, and uh, Frank said, say, say goodnight to the president when we were leaving. They were serving sherry, one of my favorite drinks. <laughs> sherry and, you know, some, some buck and a half wine, you know. And Reagan was doing one of these, or another round. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Reagan, Reagan's great. He, he, he doesn't believe he's president. He keeps walking around. <laughs> anyway, we're ready to leave. I said, Mr. President, may I see you a minute? So they, I said, uh, what is it? I said, listen, anytime you're in California, and I'm whispering, and, and all the Secret Service is on. What is he saying? 27 <laughs> Baker, what is he saying? All those guys. With the, I, thought there, I thought there was a whole room of Johnny Ray's. They all got these little earphones. I says, what is he saying? What is he saying? He said... I said, listen, whenever you're in L.A., if you run short, you get, you get your call. <laughs> and you know what he did? Larry, I swear to God, he went. <laughs> and all the Secret Service guys went, you know, because they're all robots. They all stand behind him and they do the same thing. If he's shot, they get shot with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bang! Oh, well, I'm, 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 I'm hit. I mean, it's one of those things. And Nancy was great. She was in the other room looking at her gown. <laughs> so we never saw her. You actually said, if you're in L.A., look me up. I actually said that. I did. Sure. And frankly, he was laughing, Frank, because, you know... Because Frank, he thinks he could be governor of Jersey, Frank. <laughs> Can you see him, governor of Jersey? Uh, you're innocent. But Frank, he shot the guy in cold blood. The man's innocent. I don't want to discuss it. Should be great. But Reagan was great. We, we had a good time. We had, really? a, we, we had a good time. What did you have for dinner? For dinner? I think we had the stuffed, uh, <laughs> stuffed matzo balls. No, we didn't have dinner at the White House. We were just invited in Drinks. the afternoon. Drinks. Sherry. And, and I said, to, you know, the, the black uh, gentleman that... With the white gloves, I walked over to the guy and said, here's a thing, get me, get me my coat. <laughs> and the guy said to me, sir, we're not allowed to do that. I said, for you, for you. <laughs> you buy yourself a big cabin in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> you tip the way out Yeah. George Bush, what do you think of George? I think he's a nice guy, I really don't. I think he should work a farm, though. <laughs> he, no, he's a low-key guy. Very, very nice. It's, it's chill. I met his sons and his wife. It's very, very... Well, cool. we're running out of time. Zsa Zsa's going to be here in a couple oh, minutes. That's a shame. I'd love to see the outfit. I love her. You know, I make jokes about her and Ava, but she's a good girl. She's a, she really is. She's a lovely woman. She's been in this country about 40 years and still can't speak English. <laughs> I mean, that's the shame. The immigration should send her back. They really should. I mean, she should marry some count and live in Borneo or something. But she's a lovely woman. And I always rib her because she, she goes, Darling, why do you say these things about me? You know? And then when you look at her, you know why. But... Uh, her and Ava are very nice, and yeah. I love them both. Uh, Lasorda, what's happening with the Dodgers? Well, hey, hey, listen, you see by his stomach, he's swelling up. We're going to stripe him, you know, and use him as a beach ball. <laughs> no, the whole, trouble, the whole trouble with the Dodgers, they don't have one American-speaking kid on the team. He goes in the dugout and says, boys, we got to win this game. Hey, Tommy, I can play the base. I can run, check on base, check on base, play, 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 Tommy, Tommy. That's what I think. They says to the outfielder, come here, Pedro, what do you think? No, Pedro, me, you're a public, I can be a general. Get up and hit the ball. I can't, I got to go back to my country, I'm a general. They all, they're all generals. No bad, and the Angels, they're bad. What's going on with you? Well, buddy? the Angels, I really don't follow that much. They're out in Anaheim, and I don't want to go on the rides. <laughs> really, you go to the game, you got to go on the rides, you got to go on the slide, and Gene Mark's got the hat over his ears, you know, you know it's, it's right around there. You're, you're going to go out there like a jerk, because you need the, the attention. I don't go to Anaheim. A lot, lot of Timmies in Anaheim. A lot, a lot of lot what? Timmies. People named Tim. Yeah, no, people in Chevys, a lot of Chevys. <laughs> with the clutch, with the bad clutch. It's like Henry Ford. I was with Henry Ford in Monte Carlo, my head the guy. And Henry's sitting there and he says, Hi, Don, I'm Henry Ford. I said, I'm Go, glad I met you. Once you go outside, my, my, I need a lube job. <laughs> just a few minutes. And he went, You need a lube job? He repeats it. That's how right he is. <laughs> need a lube job? I thought he was going to put on gloves and do it. Thank you, Donald. Hey, hey. I can take a brush. <laughs> no, I got a break. Hey, hey, I, I, I understand. I got a break. Hey, hey I got a break. I got to leave, too. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Look at this. Two Jews saying, what a spread, huh? <laughs> Hey, you want more, more combi. More combi. That's those guys in the deli. Remember those guys with the nappy? That's another round of combi. Hey, what a... We'll be back with you. Bang. With Jaja. Jaja, Jaja will be back with a whole Bulgarian army. A whole wonderful thing. This don't, guy stinks. I'm don't, telling Don't go away. Don't go don't away. Go away. <laughs> He's begging. He's begging. Don't go away. Stay and listen to this man. Smell his own body. Watch him. Don't go away. Goodbye, everybody. Here's the script. Who cares? Show stinks. Boy, oh boy, what a night. What a night. What a show. Thanks, Thanks and Knocks them every which way but loose, Saturday at 11.30. Coming up next on Live from Marina Del Rey, it's Hollywood's original Mr. Nice Guy, Don Rickles. He hasn't had a nice word to say since he had hair, and that was a while back. Hi, everybody! Good morning.
Good Thank morning. You. Nice to see you. Guess who's not here? Pick on us anyway. We also have Stephen Bauer, wonderful actor. He was in uh, that great movie, Star Boy, he's a good looking dude, dog. Wait a second. What did I say? Wait a second. Now, uh, by the way, <laughs> good to see you off the no. ship. As he said. <laughs> I'll, make Fra I'll make Frank feel at home. 27 Blue! <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> when you played football, I'm a friend. You were lousy. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, it was a great football play with the Giants, and I must say, Kathleen, it's so good, and I know how delighted you are that Regis is downstairs critical. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> Kathy, say, it's Hollywood. It's all me. <laughs> Who needs that midget downstairs? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's I'm a little humor. To that. <laughs> she's wonderful, and Frank's married to her, and she's going to get every dime he's got. <laughs> anyway, uh, and Frank doesn't have much except ABC Sports on Monday night going, run, run! <laughs> You don't see Jewish guys playing football. We, we usually own the stadium. But I'll tell you this. Well, that's the truth. What a smart-looking crowd. Everybody's in their underwear sitting here with sunglasses. But it's, it's, it's a great opportunity for me to be on a show that's not going to make it. And I really want to tell you, all of Hollywood is talking about you people on the roof, because if this don't make it, Frank's going to do a half gain it. It's one of those boats out there. But, Kathy, I want to wish you a lot of luck in your marriage. I Thank really think you. you made an error. <laughs> I just can't picture him making love. <laughs> Probably sits in his bathrobe with a helmet on. Anyway, uh, I want to wish you a lot of luck, Frank. You're a great athlete. Sit down, rest. Kathy, I'll give you a call in an hour. Okay. I'm happily married, but I am in heat. Anyway, uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you around. I'm going to visit Regis you and are. find out if he's well. Because this man was on the bed, and the doctor kept saying... Snap out of it, Kathy is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Leave me alone. Go Leave me alone. Just right now? I gotta go that way. Leave me alone. Okay. Leave me alone. Go get and get rid of the nurse out of here. All right. Don Rickles. <laughs> what did I say? I guess he's on his way to see Reach. Oh, okay. what a pair that's going to be. I guess next up we're going to find out if Regis is really sick. And, and who could find out better than Don Rickles? He'll take his temperature, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll be right back. Where's that Regis? I gotta see this guy. Man won't survive the day. Will not survive the day. Where is this man? Look how quiet it is. Oh. God, I'm over here. Oh. Oh, no. They said you were sick, but... I mean, get some wax. This man's gone. It's over. Listen, I don't want to catch... Where's my mask? I don't want to catch anything. First of all, would you like a real good physical? Anyway... Gosh, you look so bad, Regis. They gave me a mask and everything to no, check you okay. out. It's not, it's not contagious. Hey, I'm a friend. No, I don't want to touch you. Really? No, no, I don't need it, Regis. I, I got to be honest. I was just upstairs with, with Frank and Kathy. They've been they knocking you. They've been knocking you. They don't care about you, Regis. Really? No, the two of them are up there. Frank's laughing. He says, this guy's never going to come back. Never. Yeah. They're happy I'm a, together. And I'm a friend now that I yeah. see you. Yeah. You got about a week. <laughs> shaky. Tell me, shaky. Tell me the truth. Now, I know you're a devout Catholic. Yeah. Do me a favor. Yeah. Go to church. Go to confession. No, I don't. If you go to confession, you'll be there for two days in the booth. Don't go to confession. Just, why, why are they talking? Are they I don't talking? know. I don't know. Look at you, though. Look at your eyes. Bad? I, let me just listen. Oh, it's a damn shame. You could have been the biggest thing in Hollywood. Oh, there it is. There it goes. Now it's going to get all over me, and I'm going to get sick. My luck. i got to get sick. Okay, now listen. Tell me what's going on up there. Are they doing well? Do you think they're really in love? To be honest, yeah. she's dressed like a nurse. Yeah. And he looks like... You know, yeah. he's out of it. He's out of it. I think the, the man has, I think, too many punts in the face. When they played ball, they kicked, and it backfired right in the face. Too much. He looks, and the neck is not in the show. Uh-huh. All right. He's much older. All right. She, I, I think he takes her in the park and lets her play on the toys. <laughs> it's murder. You got a happy marriage, though. I saw your wife. Joy is around, yeah. He looks like a closet hitter. But uh, don't worry about it. Tell me what's going on out here in Hollywood. Has, has Frank Everything. Sinatra called to Why do you stay in this hotel? Why don't you get a smart suite or something? This is the... When I'm in New York, I stay in the best. You're saying, look at this. Oh, the, this. The, the pillows are gone. This right? is a magnificent hotel. Uh, you is... don't go for nothing, Regis. I know you were tight with the buck. You always have been. This is the presidential You're known as suite. Cheapy, cheapy Regis. Presidential cheapy. suite of the Marina Beach Hotel. Oh, wonderful. I'll drop my pants or fire a flare. <laughs> now, has Sinatra called to ask how I am? Frank... I tell you this: If a bus hit you, I don't, th and you were pinned under the wheels, I don't think he'd look up. That's what Frank thinks of you. you I'm a friend. I, you know, I know the man you know personally. Bothered me. I missed dinner with you and Ed McMahon last night. What a break for me, because I know you wouldn't go to the pocket. Who picked up the check? Ed would have, but he didn't know he was there. He drank one martini and took. Oh, was a can. he drinking martinis? Now? No, he's doing great. He's a sweet friend and doesn't his he lovely order, wife Victoria. Doesn't he order the wine and the brass? No, no, no. <laughs> he did that once, and we thought we had a ship on our hands. He started up. 
smokes. Dr. What Martha did you guys smokes. talk about all night, you and Ed? We talked about Johnny and how we're going to get rid of him. Yeah. And then we just discussed you for about a second and a half. Yeah. Then a fly died in my drink and we went home. <laughs> but I mean, you're not too stimulating, really. A lot of things are happening here in Hollywood and you're well, locked in the room sick. Tell me all about it. I oh, it's great. Oh, I mean it. Sophia Loren. Have you seen President Reagan? Huh? Yes, I saw him. And you know what he said to me? Huh? Anyway, I don't know what it is with him. I kept saying, Mr. President, you look great. Huh? We had a lot of that. Huh? And there were so many Secret Service guys around with the earphones, yeah. there was water on the floor, and I shorted out. <coughs> I apologize. Oh, it's all right. Germs all over. The audience is going to get it. Frank's upstairs now with Kathy Lee going, he's going to die. He's going to die. That's going to be my show. My dream came true. And you're going to be down here with little Joy with the little white robe just sitting there. Look at your arms. Wow. How long have you had that? That's native rot. I lost about uh, 10 pounds. Huh? I lost I'd about say 10, 20. 20. A good yeah. 20, yeah. You'll look, so you'll look tell great. me about Reagan. How does he look? Ronald Reagan? He, yeah. he looks okay. Yeah. I think when he retired, it was the right move. The right, the right time if to he go. Went, if he went four more, we'd have a lot of trouble. And Nancy? Uh, she was okay. Yeah. She kept telling Ronnie he looks good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, what else is happening? Tommy Lasorda, the Dodgers Open training. He's in great. Beach. I was with him the other night, and we had spaghetti, and uh, I put Goodyear on his backside, and he <laughs> flew right away. over the table. He, Man's no. about 300 pounds, and he keeps saying, uh, Dodgers are going to win it all. <laughs> and little raviolis come out of the He's mouth. got a restaurant. He's got a restaurant here in the Marina. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Uh, <laughs> you eat you eat fungal bats. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Now, wait, didn't wait. they have a last uh, night roast for him? Didn't they call you? Didn't they sort of plead with you to come? And yeah. Got on his knees, sucked my ankle. Yeah. Really. Dragged me all over the floor. <laughs> please, Don, please. But he had Tony Martin in the wings. Going, nah, 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 nah. And I told him to go away. He was annoying altogether. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I entertained for Tommy. And he, he just sat there and he kept saying, I'd like to meet my friend Vinnie Bombaz, <laughs> Charlie Magazzano, Aldo Bobonini, and two ball players from the Dominion Republic saying, Tommy, love me. Tommy, love me. And they were spitting on the floor. Tommy, love me. What a game. What a game. <laughs> Real dummies, yeah. real dummies. Well, you got rid of him. He's out of your life. Uh, Tommy, if, 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 unless they win it again, then I'll have to kiss as you know what. Yeah, right. But if they don't, I'd, I'd That rush must have been exciting in the fall here in Los Angeles when they won the championship. Oh, it was terrific. Were you at the ballpark? No, no. I was outside going, get your programs. Of course I was at the ballpark. Sure you were. I had great seats. In, in the clubhouse? The I went in the clubhouse, but when I take off the shirts. <laughs> Bang, huh? Murder, murder. <laughs> it's like an old gym. <laughs> terrific. But I was there speaking to now, all the guys. Now, what's going on in you? I understand you're going to be on the Newhart show. That's going to be great. March 13th. Terrific. Bob Newhart finally realize that I can help him. Absolutely. Now, will you play Rickles or will you play a character? No, I'm going to play a Mongolian fighter pilot. <laughs> no, I'm playing a character. A character sort of a, uh, a mixture of a guy like you on his way down. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to give away the plot, well, but, it's a, it's, but it's, a, it's, a, it's sort of a, a television